Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabi and today we're gonna have a look at some M. Mikalev or Mart Mikalev perfumes. Uh, I have here three full bottles and I also have eight samples that are all um, either feminine or unisex perfumes and I think you can find, I think in with this brand you can find a scent for you. They have beautiful, just fresh, out of the shower perfumes, they have very dark, woody perfumes, uh, leather perfumes, they have everything, okay? So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's jump in. Okay, so let's start with the perfumes I actually have a full size bottle of. Um, I actually have for you a discount code. Guys, this video is not sponsored. Uh, they didn't ask me to make this video. Uh, the discount code was provided for me right after I posted my first video with them. And I said, okay, I'm gonna just make another video because I really, really like this house. I was really impressed with the customer service and everything. And also for you, if you want discount why not so everything is going to be in the description box you are going to have the link to their website uh, the name of the perfumes the discount code and all of the information okay let's start with my favorite Mon Parfum Cristal this I purchased this one okay this is absolutely amazing if you like jammy rose okay if you like jammy mature gourmand type of perfumes this is just amazing. This one has rose, has some vanilla, has some toffee in it. It's mature, but not mature in an old lady way. Not, not that, not that, okay? It's just very elegant and very sweet, very sophisticated. If you like rose and if you like also gourmands, this is definitely for you. It's absolutely beautiful. It's going out, special occasion, that type of scent. I would wear this one every day if you ask me, but it's so precious is is so luxurious that you you want to to keep this one for very very special occasions because it it definitely smells amazing and it's just it's a jammy rose but it's not your typical jammy rose it's more mature it's more refined not mature again not mature in the old lady way no it's just very very refined it's absolutely stunning i love this one and um, perfect for fall and winter stunning 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 bottle is beautiful everything is beautiful about this one so this is Mon Parfum Cristal my favorite from all of them I have to say the next one that I have a full bottle Ilan Gold let's do this one more time I absolutely love to do this come on look at that I love it it has some sparkles inside it has some shimmer inside it's just ah, it's beautiful and this is gonna go on your skin your skin in the summertime when you put this on amazing it's gonna glow up it's gonna be absolutely amazing this like the name suggests it's an ylang perfume it's ylang ylang some white flowers some fruity notes in the opening it has a little bit of a coconut but it's not necessarily a coconut perfume it has some vanilla but it's not too sweet it's not too sweet it's not too fresh it's not too floral it's just a perfect combination I said in my video that this smells like money. This smells extremely expensive. If you like white flowers and if you like um, yellow flowers, this is definitely for you. It smells like a beautiful vac vacation, like, I don't know, Monte Carlo, things like that. Very bougie, very expensive, very rich and expensive. I absolutely love this. Bottle is gorgeous, scent is gorgeous. It smells very, very natural. This is one thing that I like with their perfumes. Um, they don't smell cheap. They don't smell medicinal, artificial. Everything smells so real. Everything smells so natural. So that's a that's something very good and very rare sometimes because also with niche perfumes, even though they're niche and yes, they smell very complex and very, I don't know, you like the smell. Sometimes they are not so refined. They sometimes are not so natural. With Marty Mikhailiv, I've noticed that all of the perfumes they smell very, very natural. So, another favorite of mine, Ilangin Gold, absolutely stunning for spring and summer. And the last one that I have a full bottle of, this one, it's Watch. I purchased this one from their official website, and I'm gonna link the video where I talk about this and Ilang. And I was absolutely blown away with, with their customer service, with everything. Shipping was so fast. You're getting samples for free. Everything is amazing. Like this company really knows how to treat their customers. Watch if you like tuberose, but not that dirty old tuberose. 
this is for you. This is a bubblegum tuberose. It's very sweet, it's very in your face, it's very, very strong, amazing projection, amazing lasting power. It's very strong, it's very, very strong. It basically smells like a bubblegum tuberose. The tuberose in this, it's so, again, so real. It doesn't have any artificial notes, it doesn't have, it doesn't smell medicinal at all. It doesn't smell like a cheap bubblegum. This is the most expensive bubblegum that you can find. I really like this one. With tuberose, it's either a, a win or not really. Because tuberose sometimes can turn, I don't know, very mature on my skin. But this, this, it's, oh, this is stunning. It's so sweet. It's so yummy. If you like bubblegum, if you like tuberose, this is definitely for you. It's, it's just stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, watch by Martin Mikalif. Okay, let's move on to the perfumes that I don't actually have a full bottle, but I have lots of samples in here we have eight and i just rearranged this thing because when i first tested this we have some very light perfumes and then we have some very heavy perfumes okay so i tested first the heavy ones and i couldn't smell anything after because my nose was just it was too much okay so i just rearranged them so we're gonna go from uh, the ones that are lighter to the ones that are very dark and very strong and in your face so first one we have 20 anniversary I'm not sure if this one is limited edition or not. This, when I first tested this one, I wasn't blown away, I have to be honest. But then, then when I revisited all of these samples, like I said before, I just tested uh, the very strong ones first. And after that, my nose was just, was just a mess, wasn't working properly. This, it's orange blossom. It has some patchouli. It's not the patchouli is not too strong and it's not too dirty. It's not a dirty patchouli. I think if you can bear the patchouli in Elisable Parpa, you're definitely gonna be okay with the patchouli in this one. It's not a strong patchouli again, but it is there. You can smell it. It has orange blossom. It has something green, maybe. I again I don't have the notes here. I have no idea what, what I'm talking about. I'm just telling you what I smell basically. It's a little bit fruity, it has something green, but not green in an unpleasant way, not green in, I don't know, um, a minty way, because you know, if you're watching my channel, if you're on my channel for a long time, you know that I don't like that type of greenness, I don't like that um, minty greenness. But again, it's very natural and it doesn't bother me at all, it's very subtle, it's very in the background. This is beautiful, like I said, at first when I tested this, I wasn't, and eh, I was, oh, it's okay, but now, I actually really like this one. I actually really, really like this one. It's orange blossom patchouli, something fruity, something slightly green, but not too much. Nothing is too much. Everything is so well blended and everything smells so real. Every, everything smells so natural. I really, really like this one. Now I really, really like this one. So that is 20 anniversary. Yes, I really like this one for spring and summer, especially for the springtime. Well, this one for the springtime is going to be amazing. This, yes, I do really like this one. Next one, we have Royal Masca Nectar. This is the mask fragrance. And if you're here for a long time, you know that I hate masks. So this one doesn't have a spray. This one is actually a dabber. So we're going to see how we work with this. Okay, just a little bit more. And I tested all of this on my skin. This is the first time when I test them on, on paper. So I know exactly if something smells different on the skin um, and the paper, I'm going to tell you. Oh, wow. This, this is better on paper. I liked it on my skin, but this is better on paper. I think maybe this one's going to be better on clothes as well. I don't like mask normally. I find mask... I don't know. I just don't like mask. I have just one scent... I do like the mask in it, and that is Juliet has a gun. Mm. This, this is not your typical typical mask. This is a very sweet, refined, clean mask. This is good. This is actually it smells like I don't know fresh cleaned sheets, but very sweet. This is nice. This is not, and this is from someone that hates masks. So. This is actually very, very nice. So the mask one was a name. 
Royal Mask Connector. I really like this one. For a mask scent. And me not liking mask. This, this is a good one. The next one that we have is Pure Extreme. Again, the Nectar one. I've heard so many good reviews about the original one. But I don't know. I can't remember how this one is. I never tested the original one. But this, I, I just know that this one was nice. I wasn't blown away, but this one was nice. Okay. I just remind myself how they smell. It's... Again, very light, floral, clean, sweet. I don't know what this one has in it. Might be some jasmine. Might have some jasmine in it. Not sure. I'll probably put the, the notes on the screen. This is, again, very elegant, very beautiful. It's very subtle, though. It's very subtle. I do like it. I do like it. I think spring, summer, again, if you're looking for a light, floral scent but not too floral i do like it i do like it for now i like the best the 20th anniversary because that one has that patchouli has that kick it has i don't know something more but this is very nice this is very nice again it doesn't smell medicinal it doesn't smell anything like that i do like this one i do like this one i don't think for me personally it's a full bottle worthy because it's very subtle but it's a very nice one. So if you're looking for just everyday, no-brainer, um, floral, sweet, but not too floral scent, this is a very nice one. Next, we have Ananda Nectar again. We have lots of nectars in here. I think this is the last one that has a double. I'm pretty sure all of the other ones have a sprayer. And by the way, guys, they also have, I think, Discovery Kits on their website. So if you want to test, um, if you want to test perfumes from them, you, you can go and get the discovery kit that's pretty affordable i think they're around i don't know 15 16 euros and you're getting like four or something like that okay this one is fruitier sweeter definitely sweeter and this one is not as floral as the previous one and it has a little bit of a very expensive shampoo yes yes it smells not, not shampoo hair conditioner it smells like a fruity, but it doesn't smell chemical at all. Hmm. I think this one is going to be good right after, uh, out of shower. If you like that type of scent, like right after you're taking a shower to put a, a nice light perfume, this, this is nice. This is, nice. again, not full bottle worthy for me because it doesn't have that, mm, you know, that kick, that, that something. Okay, I like this one. I like this one. Again, if you want more of fruity scent, check this one out. If you want more of floral scent, uh, the Pure Extreme Nectar is more floral than this one. But that, both of them are very subtle. They're very light and nice and perfect for every day, basically. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one as well. So that's Ananda Nectar. Okay, let's move on to the heavy ones. This is Aoud. When I've seen the name... I was pretty scared because I like wood, but I don't like that very oriental uh, barnyard type of wood. This. This has also the notes This um, in here. This one has rose in the top. Middle, you have a wood, clove, saffron, cinnamon, and sandalwood. And in the divide down, you have patchouli. I like this one. I like this one. You're getting the wood, you're getting the saffron. I like this one. I'm not really getting the cinnamon though. What else does it have in here? Rose, definitely the rose. A bit of, of patchouli. It's, it's your oriental wood, but not too sweet. Okay, it's not too sweet. If you like wood, but you don't want that extreme wood, this one is, is not extreme at all, even though it's called just a wood, and maybe you're gonna be scared of the name. This is nice. The rose is there, but it's not very strong. It's not very sweet. It's still sweet, but it's not as sweet as a wood bouquet, would, I would say. But again, it smells so natural. I have my only wood perfume is Shaga Food by Swiss Arabian, and I absolutely love that one. The only thing with that one, it smells, it's a chippy. Obviously, it's not going to smell wow. Uh, it smells wow, but the, the ingredients used, you can tell that they are pretty chemical with this everything is so smooth everything is so oh, i really like this one 
I actually really like this one. And I'm not a wood person. I'm not a wood person. And I, I do like this one. It's not a moment now because... Because it's February, so spring is coming. But for the fall and winter, I would buy a full bottle of this. I would, I would buy a full bottle of this. This is nice. This is actually very nice. Yes, I do really like this one. So I would, uh, again, buy, obviously, Martin Mikalif. Yes, I would buy a full bottle of this one. The next one is my least favorite one, I have to say. Um, like always, you know, guys, I'm keeping like 100% honest. If I like something, I'm going to tell you. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you again. Uh, you might like this. We all have different tastes. We, have, we all have different noses. So what works for me might not work for you. And if you like something, I might not like that thing. So perfumes are very personal. This one, I forgot to tell you the name. This one is Royal Rose Awood. This one should have more rose. Yeah, see this? This is more about the rose. You're still getting the wood. What this one have? Black currant saffron in the top, middle, wood and rose, and dry down musk, patchouli, and sandalwood. This? What I don't like about this one, but it's just my personal preference. The rose smells quite mature. It smells, it's that French type of scent, that French, old school French perfumery. It's not bad though. It's not bad, but it smells, the rose in here is more like an old rose or more like, not old, vintage rose, that type of rose. It's nice, but definitely not for me. It is not for me. If you like that type of, type of scent, like woody rose but more like a vintage rose you might like this one but for me i will not i will not purchase this one it's just my personal opinion again if you like this if you like this type of uh, of scents and if they work for you good for you but for me they just don't work i liked way 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 much more uh, the awood one yeah it's 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 all right it's all right but it's definitely not for me two more to go this one i don't know i have a love hate relationship with this perfume this one it's ananda chai this it's a tea fragrance and at first i thought it's going to be a light tea no 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 no. it's a very concentrated dark tea this come on let's play this one this this is very in your face i really like the opening opening what does it have lemon bergamot top middle you have green tea nutmeg nutmeg heliotrope thyme i have no idea what that is Firm, ilang ilang, rose, and the dry down you have spices, white musk, cedar, amber, woody, and vanilla. I like the opening. In the opening you're getting a dark, a very concentrated green tea with some, some lemon in it. But then the dry down is getting so dark, it's getting so woody. This is very different. If you like tea scents, but not light tea, okay? If you like very dark tea scents, this is going to be amazing for you. I like the opening, but the dry down, I think it's just too much for me. I, I still like it. I still like the dry down, but I just think it's going to be way too much for me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I like that it's so different. I like the fact that it's so, so different. And I've never smelled something like this. But it's sweet, though. It's still sweet. The rose, again, you have this, this one has the rose. It doesn't have rose. Uh, it has rose, yeah. I'm not wrong. I was thinking, I smell rose. How this one doesn't have rose? It has rose. It's again, it's a little bit vintage rose, but I like in this combination. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm not crazy about the dry down. I really like the opening though and the middle. And it's so different. It's so different. I think if you are a bold person, this, and if you like tea scents, again, very dark tea scents, this is going to be for you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I need to taste this one more. Maybe I'm gonna buy a food, maybe, because it's so different. And right now my collection is just either super floral or super gourmand perfumes and I don't have anything like this. So that was Ananda Chai. And the last one that we have is Secrets of Love Gourmet. Gourmet? Gourmet, I think, I don't know. This, this is a very challenging one for me because this one is a leather perfume and me, leather, no. Okay, no. 
this I, I cannot I cannot with this I'm pretty sure it's unisex this on a man would smell amazing on a man wearing a leather jacket would smell amazing also on a, on a woman it would smell amazing if you if you can pull a very strong leather scent this one has do I have the notes here yes this one has opening incest and raspberry, needle, violet, leather and chestnut and dry down have a wood, vanilla and labdanum. See, it has also incest, it has leather, it has labdanum that also gives a leather vibe. It's very leathery. It's very, very leathery. But again, it smells like real leather. It's very strong and very smoky. It's a smoky, dark, leathery scent. It is not for me. It is not for me. You're getting a sweetness in the background. Actually, yeah, you're getting a sweetness in the background. But I think this one is totally unisex, leaning a little bit more masculine. This one, this one is not for me. This one is not for me. If you like leather, I absolutely don't like hate leather. So that's why this one is not for, for me. But if you like leather, check this one out. This one is the last one, Secrets of Love. Gourmet, 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 gourmet. And that was it for today guys, that was it. Let me know in the comments down below if you tested any of these perfumes, if you like them, if you don't. If you have any other recommendations, uh, what perfumes should I try from Martin Mikalif? Because I know that they have some great perfumes. I'm really interested in uh, Jazzy Original Mon Parfum and what's the other one? Not Evany and I think it's Ananda, Ananda Dolce or something like that. I think those three are more on my like my type more gourmand more my vibe but also these ones i shared with you perfumes are very floral they're very fruity very dark leathery tea perfumes um gourmand perfumes this is what i like about them that they have everything they have something for everyone and again i was surprised by the mask one i hate mask i like the mask one i was surprised for uh, for the wood one I hate wood. I don't hate wood, but I'm not the biggest fan of wood. I really like that I would want. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this brand. Don't forget if you want to purchase something from the website, you have 10% off. It's in the description box, everything, details, all of that. And yeah, that was it for today. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.